Well, it's a first for Arizona and an attempt to improve response times when you need help. A Gilbert Fire among the first in the nation to get an electric fire truck. All new this morning, ABC 15's Nohalani Graf is taking a closer look to see how it's performing so far. No, hey, the goal is to order more of these if this one is actually better. And they are putting it to work to find that out, Nick and Kaylee. They're trying it out here at Fire Station 2. This is the busiest in the city. And already the fire chief is sold. He says it's better for firefighter health. It is more efficient in action. And most importantly, they're already seeing foster faster response times. So now the next step is to look and see if the cost benefit is an improvement as well. Sirens are the first thing you hear when a fire truck races to help, but there's a constant, sometimes deafening rumble that lingers while crews work and the engine idles. With Gilbert's new electric fire truck, a few beeps at ignition, followed by a whisper quiet engine. One fire chief, Rob Dugan, says has been moving faster out the gate and at any stoplight than any of their other trucks. Critical seconds that add up when you're waiting in an emergency. It's about delivering four people as close to four minutes as you can to anybody's door that needs you. The truck is a virtual hybrid, so it can switch to diesel if the battery runs out, but it's designed to last two hours and can travel up to 90 miles a charge. And most of our runs are five miles. So we go five miles on a call, we come back, charge, go five miles, come back and charge. Sound, the most obvious difference in the new rig, not just a nicer aesthetic, but creating a safer work environment. Radio traffic no longer having to compete with the engine as they relay how many hoses have to be connected, when to turn on the water, alerts from the other side of a burning building to the engineer on the truck that could otherwise delay a firefight. You're on the end of a nozzle and all of a sudden you expect 150 gallons and you're only getting 50. That could have you a tremendously dangerous situation for a firefighter and that engineer is going to be able to hear those communications better to make sure and then can troubleshoot what the problem is. Loud diesel engines also pump out cancer-causing fumes that firefighters are clouded by even after the fire is out and can seep into the fire station when they return. One of the sins of my generation of firefighters is that too many of us are dying from cancers that we acquired through our occupation. Now, zero emissions. But change is hard and cost is king. So the chief says cost benefit is what they'll keep studying to determine if an all electric fleet really is the future. And so speaking of cost, they use grant money from SRP and cut a deal with the manufacturer. So the chief tells me that the electric truck actually cost them less than a brand new diesel that they just had to order. The other thing that they're going to be looking at when it comes to cost moving forward is maintenance. He tells me that diesel trucks require more maintenance also. They'll factor in time lost when they have to take those trucks out of rotation. The next big test, though, will come this summer to see how the electric fire truck holds up in our extreme heat. But Nick and Kaylee, that's also where they see a benefit to these fire trucks is they don't physically run as hot. So also improving the environment for firefighters. Yeah, I mean, really fascinating. EVs, all the rage right now on the roads for all of us, you know, regular drivers. So nice to see how it's happening right now with fire trucks, and we're eager to see what the results are of this. In the name of safety, no, hey, thank you. It is.